Loctec Quick Set Smart Key Decoder is going to be a quick demo. Um, what we've got here is the decoder. The mirror is already in position 5, naturally, so when it's going to be put in the lock all the way, it's going to line up with number 5, as you can see. So at this point, you'd either start your video if you want to record the whole process, take a snapshot, or look at your depth chart and identify that particular wafer, which in this case is going to be a 6. So we take it out, move on to the next space, which is space number 4. Put it back on there. There we go. So now we're reading number four space. Okay. So we come back over here and look at our chart again. And that's a two. Okay. Write down our two. Take that spacer off. Move on to spacer number three. These spacers are all numbered. I don't know if you can see that in there. But they are numbered for what depth they go to. Insert it all the way again until it stops. Again, you're going to write it down by looking at your chart and identifying it or a snapshot. This is clearly a one. So that's one for space number three. Moving on to our next spacer, which would be spacer number two. All right, insert it all the way in again. Flat wall, flat wall is number three. Okay, same thing, same process. Last one is space number one. Again, putting it on the, lock, on the key. Insert it all the way until it stops. Look at your chart. That's going to be a five again. Okay. So there you have it. Using the spacers, it's really up to you if you want to use the spacers. It helps tremendously if you're not super familiar with what you're seeing inside the lock. You certainly can use it without these spacers. You'll see, it's kind of hard to show, but this little ledge right here, this little ledge right here is pretty much the bottom of your window, and the top of the mirror is the top of your window. That's the area you're looking for. You'll see this little ledge goes across all of them. You can get familiar with where your next wafer is, and you don't have to use the wafers and make the process even faster. But when you're just starting out, or if you don't use it all that often, the spacers come in very handy. There you go.